Hey, have you ever wondered what would happen if the rain that falls from the sky wasn't just water, but was actually acidic? Yeah, acid rain. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's a real thing, and it affects way more than you might think. So what is acid rain? It's not like the rain is burning holes in your umbrella or anything. Acid rain just means that the rainwater has become more acidic than usual because of pollution in the air. The main culprits, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides. These gases get released when we burn fossil fuels. Think, cars, factories, power plants. Once these gases hit the atmosphere, they mix with water vapor, and boom, they turn into acids. When it rains, that acid gets washed down to earth. But here's the wild part. Acid rain doesn't just fall where the pollution happens. Winds can carry those nasty chemicals for hundreds of miles. So even if you live far away from big cities or factories, acid rain could still show up in your backyard. So why should I care? Well, acid rain can mess up ecosystems big time. Imagine this, you've got a beautiful lake teeming with fish, but when acid rain falls, it can lower the pH of the water, making it too acidic for fish or other aquatic life to survive. Forests can also take a hit. Trees get stressed, their leaves get damaged, and the soil loses important nutrients. Even buildings and statues can start crumbling, especially if they're made of limestone or marble. Now here's something interesting. Acid rain doesn't usually hurt people directly. You're not going to melt if you walk outside during a storm. But the indirect effects, like poor air quality, food chain disruptions, and environmental damage, can find their way back to us. It's all connected. So is there hope? Absolutely. We've actually made progress. Many countries have passed laws to reduce the pollutants that cause acid rain, and technology has helped clean up a lot of emissions. The coolest part? Small changes, like using cleaner energy or driving less, can make a big difference. Next time you see those clouds rolling in, just remember, there's a whole science story happening up there. And the more we know, the more we can protect our planet. Stay curious.